everyone, I'm Anthony and this is the Biotech Brief where I give you short and simplified updates about the biotech industry. Alzheimer's disease sucks, but even though it sucks, we're going to talk about it in this brief because a new drug trial for Alzheimer's patients has just been completed and researchers are calling the results the most promising yet in the fight against this disease. First, it's important to understand some basics about Alzheimer's. One popular theory today is that the onset of Alzheimer's disease is caused by the buildup of toxic proteins known as amyloid deposits. What researchers believe happens as the disease progresses is that the plaque, presumably caused by these deposits, builds up and kills nerve cells in the brain, causing memory loss. To date, no effective drug for Alzheimer's has ever reached the market, and I would say one reason is because nobody has been able to definitively say what causes Alzheimer's disease, which has made it difficult to treat. However, a Boston-based biotech company called Biogen is currently testing a plaque-busting antibody treatment and the results are really promising. In the most recent drug trial, Biogen's drug was given to 165 patients and the company says in those who took the highest dose, it basically eliminated the plaques in their brain over the course of a year. Now, it's too soon to call this a cure for Alzheimer's, and nothing can be confirmed until these results are replicated in a longer trial with a larger group of patients. But the fact that this drug stands a chance to become the first real treatment for Alzheimer's is huge. If you're questioning how significant it would be, then you should know that by some estimates, caring for Alzheimer's patients in the U.S. will cost $1 trillion dollars per year by 2050. So again, this is big news with really promising implications. For more info on what's going on in the biotech industry, follow the Biotech Brief YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.